Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the cold, dank, 60s some odd degree with a mist falling backyard. And I have just freshly primed this already black canvas with a layer of black paint because I have a plan and it involves this ice cube tray. And my plan is to put the colors I like into each compartment in a series and hope that I'm right about my assumption that I can make something interesting and then try and move those away. They're going to have to get out of the way. So, what? I tried not to have anything in there and I thought I wiped it out. We'll see if I was right or not. So these are all similar colors to each other in one way or another. I had some bright orange and I want it. And as I go along, if I find out this is going to work, then I'll add more colors. This is the Anita's White Metallic. And I'm going to use that with the purples. And I have no idea how this is going to work, but this is my Folk Art Neon Purple. I do think I will combine them, but I'm not sure exactly what's coming next, to tell you the truth. That's a color I mixed. That's a pale blue. And that should have... That's ah, some very hard to come out. <laughs> Metallic blue. That's some Prussian blue. And I wanted... Well, I wanted something else. But I think I'm going to take this which is a Bahama Blue from Anita's. And I have one more little container right there, and it's left over from quite a while ago. And now I have to decide what goes in there. And I kind of think whatever I want should go in there. And I'm hoping I'm correct in my assumption that um, it will bring that black back to life. And there's a color I haven't used, and I want some of in there. And what else? What else? What else? I want some of this. I want more of that red metallic in there. I'm going to throw a little bit of yellow back in there again. And a little bit of that pink in there. And maybe, maybe just a little bit of this cobalt. Actually, I think what I shook up is somewhere else. But that'll work for right now. Yeah, this one's more open. Anytime you squeeze the colors into a container, then you have a much better chance of making cells because it agitates the paint. And so I'm going to move these out of my way and move these over here where I can get at them and bring on my spoons. Well, I, I say that, but then, <laughs> but then I lie. Um, I have a spoon holder. I got it for the spoons. And we'll see if that works or not. Put that right there. Bring my canvas back. I was thinking about playing with some chains, so maybe that's where I'll start. I'll just put some, I'll grab a little piece of chain and I'll grab a spoon. Oh boy. And I'm gonna grab a little more, I think I want more white. And I wanna not, mix my spoons up. So yeah, I definitely want some more white metallic and everything. Oh, I didn't use any gold. Son of a gun. Okay, well, never mind. I've got some copper. I suppose I could just tilt this to see how it's going to go at first. And there I changed, I changed my mind and used one spoon in with another container. Maybe I'm just going to keep doing this <laughs> because it's fun and I like seeing the colors go down. And I think I see that I want some Prussian blue in with my mixture of purples. I'm not sure why I'm doing those shapes. I'm not sure why I'm doing anything right now, but that's the nature of my experiments. I start in an unknown place 
and maybe I'll tip before I do anything else. But I'm having fun with the colors. And I'm not minding that they're sort of blending a little. And I don't mind the, the cells I see popping are from uh, the fact that I mix my pouring. My pouring medium is Floetrol and Deco Art pouring medium mixed with paint that has GAC 800 by Golden in it to keep the paint from cracking. It's under the under Show More underneath the video. So let's just see how this starts. I want some of this in there. Actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I'm not sure that was a great idea, but just because I can, the name of my first book on the Amazon link. Now let's just play. I'm going to grab my number 10 ball chain and I'm going to loop it all the way down and pull it all the way off. And then I'm going to do something similar, only I'm going to go in the other direction. If I have enough paint on it, I will just let it deposit its paint. These are not necessarily meant to be flowers. They could be anything. But I have wanted to play with chain, and so play with chain I will. When I have a lot of excess paint, I suppose I could probably tilt. I like winding the chain all the way around. Maybe that's what might have some super large pieces of chain saved for. Just having some abstract fun. Who knows what kind of ideas it'll give me. Certainly is a lot like fireworks in some respects. Oh, I don't like eradicating things I loved. <laughs> but that's okay. Some Something else I love will happen. I've got to remember to go back the other direction. No idea where this is going. I think I'm going to need a clean piece of chain in a second, though. Because I like a lot of the things I am seeing. And I'm glad I didn't put any more paint on, because I can always come back and add more paint after. But you can't take it back. I'm going to keep going with my my chain with the purples on it for right now. And then rest my chain in my little dish, grab another piece of chain and what else? Another spoon. And put some of the oranges down there. Leave that spoon right in the container because I might want to be back there in a, sec in a second. Okay, so if I pull that way, and it's okay to leave a puddle of paint, especially because of the GAC 800. I'm trying to compose in my mind as I put this chain down, and I'd really prefer not to annihilate anything that's extraordinarily cool already. And there's some very extraordinarily cool things there already. Um, this might be one of them. I might be sorry I'm doing this. I also might not. That's not a bad start. I kind of like that. The 
color combinations are neat because I'm figuring out what I might like to do in future. Now I did that from that direction so in theory if I go from the other direction and then back in that direction I can get all kinds of cool shapes going and I'm really loving this actually and I'm not sure how much further I want to go and I don't think I needed maybe just a little bit less I like to lay the lines out so I have something to wrap around and I've got blue schmutz in there but I never play with the chain too much so I get to keep a lot of the stuff I'm gonna steal some of that right over the edge I really like that pink but I want to do something to it so maybe I'll just wind it around and I'm kinda of liking that the canvas is the black canvas is helping me out in the background with the wet paint this is pretty cool I really I really like this a lot I'm contemplating using the smaller chain so let's see what happens when I do that still gonna wind it around and let it fall right over the side yeah I think I can do that <laughs> I'm having a good time I'm not sure I should have used that black in the bottom there but I can still do something else what to do with that little chain there it is that's some very heavy paint right now and I'd like to use it all so I think if I do that that'll work cool and I think I can use the residuals on the chain with the black wet background I kinda wanna put some white in there and see what happens with something else I seem to have lost a lot of my magenta but it doesn't mean it's gone forever this is really abstract but it's also really nice alright I'm using the little chain and I don't know if that's a good idea or not But I like the idea of mixing up the two and showing you guys which way did I go? They can continuously use my puddle to keep pulling new patterns. I'm not sure about that, but there we go it's different but it's still kinda cool I'm gonna put my chain down someplace it's not gonna make a mess and grab some more of this orange and let it flow down with some of the white I think I really love having the white in there it just makes everything better I'm gonna grab myself a nice big piece of number 10 again I want to go all the way around. I wonder what happens if I go all the way around. And maybe one more time. Kind of sometime I want to put some green in. I'm so close to being happy with this. I'm super stoked that I got something I like out of this. Really, I am. I want to use just little tiny bits. And I see that over there. And I see that over there. And I'm going to give a little bit of white to each of them. And maybe grab some clean chain. And then I'm really close to calling it good, so I have to say um, thank you guys for all the compliments over time and the support you've given me to try and keep my channel going, and uh, I hope it stays going. It's hitting hard times, but it doesn't matter because I'm here to have fun, and I'm here to show you you can have fun too. And if you think you can't do what I can do, you're wrong. You just have to give it more of a shot than you have and realize I've done a thousand paintings, so 
I might have <laughs> a little advantage where that's concerned. I'm going to lay it right through the middle of it. And pick it up at the end. And lay it all the way around. And try and go in the opposite direction. Let it fall right off the chain. And almost time to torch. Maybe one more, one more go round over here. I got a minute left, so I'm I'm under time, and that's kind of cool. Who knows what I'll do with this? But I've wanted to just do this random looking decorative pattern forever and now I got to do it and you were here to see it. I'm going to go back up there, pull that down, all right so it doesn't I don't have to fill in all the negative space for this to be cool and I think this is pretty cool so I'm going to torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint if there are any in spite of the fact that I think the chain most often does a pretty good job of removing most of the bubbles. The GAC 800 will keep the heavy paint where it's heavy from being a problem and cracking. You can find underneath the video, you can find my Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. If you want to be included in the monthly drawing, the next one is beginning of the third week in January. And you can find the exhibition video on the end screens of every video in the last 20 seconds. I think I said that. Um, there's like seven paintings for prizes. You get to pick one if, you, if your name is drawn. And uh, there's also a calendar and something else. Oh, my book! Yeah, volume one. And maybe even volume two if they get here in time. I'm wondering if I want something over here. I really kind of do. But... Um, I think I ought to stop now, and I had to tell you guys, if you shop the clothing line under the video, that's my stuff, and you can find all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. If you are interested in purchasing an artwork or taking a class in Spring Hill, Florida at my studio, you can find my email address directly under the video. It's EASPB Gallery. Uh, is that right? <laughs> it's under the video, anyway. can't even remember my own email address right now. So, um... Please give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And if you want to help keep my channel here, then watch the videos longer. Yes, I'm doing it. I can't help it. Hopefully I don't mess anything up. Just can't keep myself uh, from playing with paint when I see it. But um, I love this, and I love you guys, and I don't know if I'll ever make it to 85,000 because I watch my subscribers get within 200 and then get kind of funky. So. Cross your fingers for me and say a prayer and hope I can get there. And I love you guys. I hope to see you again. You can find pretty much tomorrow's video most times on the Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group homepage for Facebook, which is for students. Or uh, if you want to donate, I was saying it was a $10 minimum, but I was saying it was PayPal or Patreon. And you can find those channel icon those icons on my channel header and you can find the links under the video and you can find my my playlists by genre there's 11 of them and uh, you can also find playlists up to 900 and uh, if you binge you might actually help save me so thank you for that and I love you guys and I'll see you soon this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill Florida at Expression Studio Gallery in the backyard going that was a fun experiment I'm gonna do it again bye now see you soon Priscilla out <laughs>